Welcome to the May 16, 2019 video version of the Wagner Daily. And as usual, every Wednesday, this video replaces the written commentary portion of the report. And hopefully the video offers some insight as to how we look at charts, how we set up our charts, and acts as a nice change of pace from our usual report. So let's get to the charts. After some ugly selling over the past two weeks, Broad market averages have bounced higher the past two days. QQQ has rallied into the 50-day MA. S&P 500 into the 50. IWM has yet to touch the 50 MA. MDY, same there. NASDAQ Composite stopped just shy of the 50. And the Dow is bouncing off the 200 day MA. So until these indices can reclaim the 50-day MA, it's best to either do very little or if you're going to take on some long exposure, do so with reduced share size, as we have yet to see any confirmation that the, the market has bottomed out. Now that could change within the next few days. As we've seen through the past few years, uh, the market can do a V-shaped recovery and return back to highs pretty quickly. So, so it's important that we don't lose focus right now and just think that uh, just because uh, the broad-based averages are below the 50-day MA that they're are no decent setups out there, but we don't want to step on the gas with regard to long exposure right now. Maybe a uh, position here or there is, is fine. On to open positions. VAV, we are long through some calls that will expire by the end of the week. So unless VAV can clear this downtrend line and push through 14 by Friday, they'll likely expire worthless. Um, Twitter, we were stopped out of half the position beneath the swing low and the 20-day the EMA right here. It's uh, reversed since after undercutting the, the uh, low of the gap up bar. And, uh, and we'll look to see if the price can break this downtrend line and reclaim the 20-day EMA. SC reports earnings 521. If we plan to hold through the report, uh, we'd like to have a little bit of a profit buffer. Currently, it's a 5% buffer. And since it's only a 5% position, uh, that's something we might be able to live with, but we'll see. Though we'd prefer to have a 10 to 15% buffer. Next is Smartsheet, SMAR. Reclaim the 50-day moving average on a slight pickup in volume. If we look over here on the weekly chart, can it clear uh, the three-week high? That would um, that would attract some buying interest, especially if you can do so uh, on volume. Earnings are 6.5, so it has a bit of time to set up. ZS is our best acting stock right now, and it attempted to break out again on Wednesday on a slight pickup in volume with a decent close in the top. Looks like the top 25% of, of the day's range. Looks pretty good. Earnings are at the end of the month, so we are currently up about 10%, so we have a decent profit buffer. Uh, if we can get more, that, that'd be great. If we can get it near 15%, that'd be ideal. And the reason we like a 10 to 15% buffer is just in case the stock opens 10 to 15% lower, most of the time that will result in a break even or five to 7% loss. Or even if there is a 20% gap down, at worst, we have a 10% loss, which isn't what we want, but it's certainly something we can live with in terms of a loss in the portfolio and uh, move on from. And that's it for current open positions in the model portfolio. Let's take a look at a few setups we are monitoring on the long side right now. Uh, these setups are not official. First up is TW, which put in an ugly false breakout candle here. If it can go sideways for the next day or two without breaking uh, below this two-day low, minus a little bit of a shakeout here, it might get interesting, especially if the price action is tight. Next up is LPLA, a big volume gap up here, followed by a pullback to the 10-day MA. A move through the two-day high would be ideal on a pickup in volume with a stop beneath the three-day low or 
just below the 20 day EMA, which would be about five to six percent away. Coop is looking pretty good, though it reports 6.3. For those who want to take a shot, uh, it can be bought on strength tomorrow. Uh, say if there's some sort of five minute range on the open that stalls at 106 and then clears the five minute high later in, in the day, say within the first uh, hour, that could potentially be bought and see if it can move out right away. And, and one could do that with a fairly tight stop beneath Wednesday's low. MNST, what we'd like to see is the price action just sit tight here the rest of the week. So so next week, a move through the through 63.50 would be over the two-week high with an inside week this week. And our last chart of the night is Domo, which is a stock that's still in consolidation mode. has yet to move out off the lows of the base. But what's interesting here is it could potentially break this downtrend line and clear the 50-day MA on a move through 37.40 uh, or so with a stop beneath the recent swing low. So about 9% away, 10% away. Oh, yeah, we also have another chart in plan right at the uptrend line here if the price action can continue to consolidate and then break through this resistance at 40, then it could be in play on the long side, though it does have earnings on 528. So just a quick recap of our earlier analysis regarding the broad market price action. Uh, the market's in bounce mode right now, or appears to be after some ugly selling action on Monday. How long we bounce, we don't know. Uh, this could be a quick recovery back up to new highs, or it could be several weeks sideways. Um, odds favor several weeks sideways, but again, we have no crystal ball with regard to broad market price action, which is why we take this uh, one day at a time. Our analysis is only good for uh, the report we put out. It can change completely the next day. And, and that's the way it has to be, as it's the only way to avoid a, a trading with an opinion. Although we look at the broad market averages on a daily basis, we have to remember that in the end we trade stocks and that if these stocks hold up, even during a nasty pullback in the market, there's just no reason to sell, you know, unless of course you're some short term uh, swing trader looking for a quick five to 10% pop. But if not, um, if you're sitting in stocks like uh, SC or ZS that have held up and haven't triggered any stops, yeah, the broad market sold off sharply but if your stocks held up that's all you need to know sometimes uh, over analyzing the broad market averages can have a negative effect on uh, one's ability to hold stocks when uh, conditions turn sour all right that's a wrap thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week